Guys, we totally did it. Congratulations. We have done 30 days of boundaries work. Are you a different person? Do you feel different? If you haven't done all these videos, go check out the playlist below, um, the boundaries challenge or whatever, and start from the beginning and work on through because so much of the stuff in here can actually change your life. These tiny perspective shifts can add up to really big changes in your life if you let them, if you internalize them and go forth with them. <sighs> I just feel so super proud of all of the things that we've accomplished. And if you would like to share some of the wins that you've had around boundaries, I would love to hear it. Yeah, on Facebook, in comments here, but really on Facebook is what I love. Um, Because then it's much easier to have like a whole conversation and it's just really fun to have that in our kind of community space. Today, the one big tapping script that I really wanted us to do is really simple. It just says, I embrace boundaries. Let's go ahead and tap it in. Let's tap it in five times, okay? Here we go. I embrace boundaries. 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 Go ahead and put your hands on your heart and breathe it in. <gasps> Imagine some angels coming to shake up all of the energy around you that has been resistant to healthy boundaries and they're just gonna shake it up and vacuum it out. <laughs> Clean it right out of your space so that you're free to just have a boundary, okay? I, I know I've used this example before of our skin and how... Man, if you, I don't know, everybody needs boundaries. If you had no boundaries, like your skin is your boundary and uh, of your physical body. And if you did not have that, you would have a big problem, okay? Our energetic boundaries are our energetic skin, okay? Having bad boundaries is like the equivalent of having oozy, yucky sores and open wounds on your physical body. It's not healthy. It hurts everyone involved. It's gross, okay? It weirds people out and <laughs> makes everybody unhappy and is scary and feels uncomfortable and it's a mess. And so what do we need to do? Well, we need to heal that stuff up. Let's go ahead. Let's go into our minds. And we're going to call up any images of our own energetic skin, that energetic boundary that we have. And just, we're going to scan it for any injuries like that or sores. I'm already yawning which is how I process energy. Whew. Okay. We're going to go and imagine an angel putting their hands on any open wounds that we have on our energetic skin, our energetic boundary. Okay. And that angel is going to flow heavenly light into those wounds and kind of help them heal up and seal up. Go ahead and imagine that for a couple of seconds here while I hold the space for it. We're having those angels flow that light energy into, into those sores. Oh. Healing them up, releasing any resistance to them healing, releasing all absorbed resistance from family members and parents, children, coworkers, friends, other people that don't want us to have strong boundaries, releasing their resistance and releasing the energies where they are the ones causing those sores, releasing that now and flowing in this light of protection around your energy field so that you don't have to deal with that anymore. Go ahead and breathe it in. <sighs> okay. Well, today is December 31st. It's actually my wedding anniversary. It's my 15th wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary to me. Ah, and this is this is my favorite holiday. It's my favorite day of the year. Um, not just because I got married on it, but I always love the chance that we have to sit down and evaluate how the past went and set some plans for the future. Tomorrow, uh, in tomorrow's video, we're going to talk about setting some plans for the future in an easy way, in a graceful way that that doesn't have to like be annoying and awful. Um. And then in January, we're going to be working through cleaning up some of the old stuff that's keeping us back from making serious headway on our on our goals for ourselves, you know? So I'm really happy and ho hopeful about this upcoming series for January because uh, 
man, what is what is more important than each of us doing the things that we feel like we're here to do, right? That's what it's all about. And so in January, the whole point is just to clear out the stuff in the way so that we can go ahead and move forward with whatever it is that we need to move forward. I made a whole plan for every single day of the month and I'm just super psyched about it. So guys, I'm going to see you tomorrow. Happy New Year's Eve. Go forth and think about how the year went. Think about the changes you want to make and come back tomorrow because we're going to talk about how to get things started and set them in motion so that we can have a graceful time accomplishing the things that we're hoping to accomplish. Okay. I love you guys so much. Thank you for working on your boundaries this month with me. It was the best. Okay. Have a good day.